So don't be fooled by this calm demeanor. This little guy's just hamming it up for the camera. I like to joke that corgis always sleep pretty dramatically. Thanks for joining us here today. I wanted to share a little bit of details on what life is like living with a corgi. I know they've gotten really popular lately, so I'd like to share a little bit more about this dog breed and the personality quirks that can come up in quite a few corgis. Now granted, not all are like this. Some are a little bit different, of course. They all have their own personality, but this is just what I found with my own corgi. So one thing I want to know about corgis is that they are a true medium-sized dog. They are the smallest of the herding breed, but they have a big personality in that small body. They don't think that they're smaller dogs. They think they're big dogs. They're very, they tend, let's say it this way, they tend to be very sassy and uh, have a lot of spirit and spunk and they want to get into a lot of things. They want to check out and explore new stuff. He absolutely adores the first snow of every year. It's so cute. He likes to hop up and catch the snowflakes and he'll do a little playful bark and stuff. But corgis definitely have a lot of pizzazz on their personality. It's super cute to watch him explore things and try to check out new areas or chase after squirrels and such. He even is a bit of a climber too. He likes to climb our wood pile. So yeah, corgis definitely have a huge personality and it's really fun to kind of watch them develop and grow into the dogs that they are. He's the best at catching snowflakes too. Another thing that I want to bring up is that corgis, being a herding breed dog, are a high energy dog. Now what this means is that the average stroll around the block and then chill out and watch Netflix with your pup probably isn't going to work so well if you have a corgi or a dog that's mixed with a corgi. They are a, like I said before, high energy dog. I really want to emphasize this because if you have a lifestyle that doesn't allow you to play fetch or soccer quite often, like about every day, and take regular strolls and just do a lot of activity and puzzles and even a little bit of training tricks too, corgis adore learning new tricks. They're very intelligent dogs. Um, this dog might not be the right breed for you. You really have to take into consideration the fact that this dog is going to rely on you to play with it and entertain him and work him out. Now, I do have a little buddy with him here. However, uh, she can only wear him out so much. She's a bit of an older dog. And I don't want to... I, I do let them play and wrestle. They have a great time. They're best buddies. Oh, yeah. Corgis are vocal. Really vocal. That's my third thing. They are the most vocal dog that I have ever known. It's pretty hilarious. He'll let you know if he's upset about something or if he needs more attention. Or sometimes he kind of grumbles at me like he's trying to tell me about his day. It is something I adore about the Corgi personality, but you'll want to keep it in mind. Just in case you're not that enthralled with how vocal they are. And he just loves his strolls here doing adventures. And that's one of the things I do kind of want to talk about um, as another point with corgis. Corgis love doing activities with their owners. They are really loyal dogs. They like to stay by their owner's side. They enjoy doing activities together. Sometimes I'll take him to the pet store with me or to Starbucks to get a pup cup, which is super fun. Of course, all the Starbucks baristas love him. And yeah, corgis actually are breaking into my room as I'm doing my voiceover. <laughs> yeah, it's cracking me up. So yes, as I said, they like to be 
your little buddy. They like to stay by your side no matter what you're doing, whether you're out doing strolls or activities, whether you're taking walks, whether you're trying to work on a project or some yard work. They want to be right there with you. And it's kind of funny because a lot of times on our strolls and stuff, he'll look back at me like with a look like, you're still with me. We're having fun, right? I think that's something that I really love about the breed is he's super loyal and he wants to be by my side all the time. If we go out in the yard too, he's going to bring us his favorite toy. As you can see here, you're seeing that herding mode in action. And there he goes. They just love these oversized balls. Unfortunately, they're not quite as sturdy as I need them to be, so I think I need to try a horse ball in the future. Maybe something like that would work. Um, let me know if you have any ideas. I'd be interested in learning about some toys that would really work for him. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please let me know if you would like to see more content like this because I love showing off my dog. Oh, my God.